comes to blood type dating, the I always believe in nature giving us signs. You have the ABO incompatibility issue in pregnancies, but you also have mainly the RG incompatibility issue. So of course I like to match up RH negatives with RH negatives because I believe every RH negative woman should have the opportunity to find a man who's also RH negative so the offspring will be RH negative and then there will not be any pregnancy complications when it comes to the RH factor but I also believe that even ABO, the ABO compatibility issues are rarer still you should have the opportunity to avoid those as well so generally speaking my formula is that if you go to datebytype.com and look for a potential partner and you're a woman find a man who can donate blood to you because then neither ABO or RH incompatibility can kick in uh, as for a man, I also, of course, suggest to find somebody, either you who shares your blood type, or if you are RH negative, also find an RH negative woman. Because I do believe RH negatives are probably happier. Uh, if you don't have a partner in your life, why not look who's available first? within your blood type category and then other RH negatives, somebody that you can donate blood to. So if you're O negative, look for O negative first and maybe A, B and AB negative next. If you're B negative, look for B negative first and then AB negative first. So there's a difference uh, who matches with whom. It depends if you're a woman or a man. If you're an A negative woman, it would be an O negative or A negative man. If you're an A negative man, A negative woman or AB negative woman. Of course, you can also go for the A plus and the AB plus, but then there will be a shortage of RH negative men available for RH negative women, which is why I always uh, am a proponent for you know arch negative people finding one another but again uh, love comes when it comes and there's nothing that I'm trying to do to uh, convince you otherwise it's about giving the opportunity to arch negatives it's about the health issues and then I believe it's also the compatibility the personality issue, the lack of misunderstanding. Now it doesn't mean that you are a, being a negative you automatically will connect with anybody that's a negative but you will be able to see through each other and know whether you are compatible or not. You know what I mean? You'll probably be compatible if you have no baggage it often depends on timing and baggage that's one thing that I've learned that um, you know we no longer live in a society where you stay virgin until you're married so um, it can be uh, that is probably the biggest problem that I have seen so far that we have all been impacted by previous relationships and it needs to be shaken off otherwise it's not going to be fair to a new partner when you say well um, you know when you consider things a warning sign for example that are not warning signs in this person's case simply because of a pattern that the previous partner has displayed <coughs> that's often the case that uh, we uh, don't see warning signs that are there or warning signs where there are none and everybody sort of deserves to be treated on an individual basis especially when you're in a relationship you're not one of many you are the one for 
about that one person. You know, and again, I am not an expert in my own life, but I have made a few matches, quite a few. Um, I've always been pretty good at that. I've always, uh, that's when my intuition kicks in, where I know, okay, this person, they're going to be good together, but the problem could be this or that. I kind of see both, you know what I mean? I see the potential, I also see the danger. I, uh... I don't know why that is, but it's been like that. Um, I this goes to you know. Robin just asked me on my blog. I talked about. I asked her. Um, you know, do you ever see a missing persons case, and you just know the person is still alive, or you just know the person is dead? You know, there are things we can pick up on that we don't necessarily have to explain or that we can't explain but why is there a need to explain everything if we know something intuitively you see there's also a difference between just knowing and just doing you know I'm sure that many of you just know and it turns out to be right but the question is did you just do did you react based on your intuition is intuitive decision-making a part of your everyday life where you don't always have to think about something but you just know this is right now this can go this this encompasses so many different levels of uh, being able to read through writing read through you know getting the right signals from people reading signals the right way interpreting them correctly also Avoiding sending mixed signals, avoiding being, uh, you know, we cannot underestimate the abilities of other arch negative people. So, when, when, for example, I'm sending an email because I think I should send it, but I'm not really convinced of what I'm writing, an arch negative person will pick up on that. It's better to have faith in the universe or God or and that life is a circle that will come back around even if you miss the right timing. A better, a pretty good timing will come in the future that will be the right timing because energy does travel. When energy is not being reacted upon, people will give their energy to somebody else that is meant for you. That's the same thing with relationships. You know what I mean? When a person can com be completely changed, the energy can completely change due to a relationship. It can be changed for the better or for the worse, or both, which can be the confusing. And when you bring confusion into another person's life, that's where often the problem is, because I can tell you, I have met a negative woman where I was like, no way, because immediately I picked up so strongly on the energy being wrong and I'm sure I was also wrong for her but I picked up on it immediately there was no doubt you know there are in society it's of course being taught you know you're supposed to go out on a date and get to know each other and then da 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 but I do believe in this love at first sight kind of thing when you just know love at first sight is intuition speaking to you don't miss that opportunity when it comes. Of course, we see so many times that things go wrong in people's lives and so often it has to do with other people interfering. Sometimes it's the parents saying, this person is not right for you because the parents have expectations on the kids that they didn't have on themselves. That's really all it is, which is a big, big, big problem. They want immediate, uh, they want somebody who meets their expectations to give instant gratification the way they see it on a financial level or, star or whatever kind of level. But they don't realize that life is a journey and you need to travel and it can take this road 
that is here can take you way up there and the one that is here is meant to plummet.